Hi loves, welcome back to our channel. So today's look will be consisting of this Monarch tutorial, so if you want to see how I did it, definitely keep on watching. Going straight into the tutorial, we're going to be using the NYX Cosmetics Total Control Foundation in Light Ivory, as well as the SFX Cream in White and just blend it all in. Then we're going to set all of the makeup with some translucent powder. We're going to go ahead and contour with our ColourPop Cosmetics Double Play Palette in the cheekbones and the eyes. And then we're going to take the color Slim Fit from ColourPop Cosmetics. I low-key love this shade because orange is my favorite color. But I'm going to place this on the bottom of my nose and my chin as well as the hollows of my cheeks. To add a little bit more warmth, I'm going to use the color Flame Point from Sugar Pill and I'm going to place this in the hollows of my face. Then for some highlight, we're going to go ahead and use a Butter Cupcake from Sugar Pill, placing this on the highest points of my entire face. For a little bit more depth, we're going to use the color Love Plus from Sugar Pill, placing this in the creases of my eyes. Then we're going to go in with a Krylon's Orange UV Paint and I'm just going to use a stippling brush to add a little bit of texture around the face. For the lid, we're going to use Sugar Pill Shadow and Pumpkin Spice. I'm just going to pack this on the lid itself. For some added highlight on the lid, we're going to use House of Beauty Shadow in Apollo. So I'm going to take a water activated paint in black, and this one is from SFX Cosplay. And we're going to create a half liner, making it very thin towards the center and very thick at the ends. And then we're going to cut our crease and then connect both liners together. Now to create the actual butterfly wings, we're going to create vertical lines from our cut crease going towards our brow. Once you get the amount of wings that you like, we're going to start rounding off the edges. So basically just connecting the lines together with a flower petal shape. I'm going to create a very extravagant inner liner as well as extending it towards my cheek. So for some added detail to the butterfly wings, we're going to create either Y's or K's inside the actual petals. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to round out the edges so they look a little bit more delicate. And then to shade, we're going to use the NYX Cosmetics Hot Black and I'm just going to drag that towards the center of my face. So this is the beginning of our dot frenzy and we're going to start by putting them on the top portion of our butterfly wings. I'm going to use the same black to create a more grungy tear on the lower portion as well as adding more dots. And then to finish off the butterfly wings, we're going to be using a white water activated paint and I'm going to place little tiny dots throughout the black portions of our wings. <laughs> For the lips, I'm going to use the NYX Cosmetics Black Liner as well as the ColourPop Liquid Lip in Black Friday. Moving on to the chest piece, we're going to be using the same exact colors to highlight and contour. Then we're going to go in with the same water activated paint and create vertical lines from my neck to the chest. Again, we're going to round out all the edges with a flower petal. Bear with me, this does take a little bit of time. So we're going to do the same K and Y method and then we're just going to round out all the edges to give us that delicate butterfly look. For any reason, if one of your little petals looks too big, then just go ahead and add another K or Y and round out your edges. To hide our double chin, we're going to take that black activated paint and drag it towards the center. Then we're going to take a brush and we're going to create little random dots throughout the bottom portion of our chest as well as our chin. To finish up the chest portion, I'm going to take some white paint and place dots inside the black. Moving on to the glitter hair, or lack thereof. Ta-da! No more hair! I will be doing a tutorial on why the heck I don't have any hair, but until then, we must continue. We're going to take that same orange Krylon paint and we're going to place that on the top of our head, blending everything in, as well as some black activated paint for our ears. We're going to make a glitter concoction, mixing gel and confetti glitter together as well as black sequins. 
I'm just gonna put it all in a cup, mix it together, and spread it on my bald little head. And that pretty much concludes our tutorial for today. Thank you guys as always for watching and supporting us. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Love you. Ciao.